Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be going over this AI agent named ChatDev. ChatDev stands as a virtual software company that operates through various intelligent agents, AI agents, holding different roles including Chief Executive Officer, Chief Product Officer, Programmer, Reviewer, etc. So basically what's going on here is that there is a team of AI agents that work together to create whatever you want them to create through your prompt. So you'll be able to give them a description of the product you want created. Then it will go throughout the whole team and generate what you told them to. So it's quite effective um, and they have a nice UI where you can see how it works, which I'll show you a preview of that right now. And basically they're talking to each other and communicating what needs to be done. It's formatted in a way where they know their roles through a prompt. So chat dev gives them a roll through the prompt that's in the code. And I'll show you guys as we get on in, in later stages of this video. Examples of what you can do. This is a photo viewer, the paint, paint software. This looks like a minesweeper, a digital clock. This is all with no code, just the AI making it. So let's jump into it. Things you're going to need GitHub desktop to actually clone the repo. So you can open this with GitHub desktop you can search github desktop on google and then you will download for mac if you want windows there's a button here download for windows you click this instead and then you just download it full of steps and you'll you'll have it downloaded but before we get into that i want to tell you you also need to get on a anaconda so you can just search us on google as well you will click on this and top right free download and this is just so we can set the environment and the python version that works with chat dev so you want to download it there's windows and linux as well and you can choose which Mac chip you have. And then after, lastly, you're going to need an IDE. So usually people use Visual Basic Studio Code. Visual Studio Code. This is free as well. This is made by Microsoft. So it's Mac and Windows. But I'm going to be using PyCharm. Um, so you can search PyCharm on Google. And this is made by JetBrains. Um, and they have a paid version and a free version. And let's see, click download PyCharm now. So this is the free, the paid version is free 30 day trial, or you can just use the community edition, which is free. Um, I have the paid plan, but I was using the community edition like a month ago and it works just fine. Okay. So afterwards, what you're going to want to do is go to GitHub desktop. All right. So now we have GitHub desktop. We want to go back to chat dev, the repo, and then just copy the URL, or you can just open with the GitHub desktop, but you can just copy the URL of it and go to GitHub desktop. And you're gonna go to file and you're gonna call cl click clone repo to do that again let me do it again top left file clone repository and then just go click url here and just paste it and then you just direct it where to put it um, i already have it implemented so you just press clone and then it will show up so now all you're gonna have to do is open pycharm i already have a chat um, dev instance to do this, all you're going to do is click on open and then you'll open the finder. You go to documents or wherever else you saved your application you, where you cloned it, which is for me is in documents and then GitHub on it, but you don't enter the folder and click open. And then once you do that, you might have it empty. You won't see anything. You'll see it like this. So what you want to do is click on project. This will open the files and then terminal to actually work with the files. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is click on readme. This will direct you through the process of running this application so we already cloned it we already have the file open the next thing we want to do is set the environment so you're just going to copy these and this is where the autoconda that we downloaded comes in handy so what we're going to do is just paste this into here which i already have done so i'm just going to do it but i'm just going to control c to cancel see as you can see prefix already exists and then install dependencies to do this you're just going to make sure you're in the right folder cd chat dev uh, and then you're just gonna pip3 install requirements and it looks like I have an error. Um, the reason is I'm not in the right directory. So just make sure you're in the right directory by copying chat dev, you right click copy and then path and absolute path and do CD like this. And there you go, you're in the right directory and now you can run the command again. And as you can see requirements were satisfied. Then afterwards, all you're gonna do is export and then here you put your API key and close it with a semicolon like so. 
um, apostrophe, sorry, and that's it. And it clicks enter and it'll be done. Windows is a little different, it tells you how. So you just follow these steps, it's fairly straightforward, just put your API key or it says your open AI API key and you can get that by easily going to your browser, go to API, I mean openai.com, login in, click on API, view API keys, and just create I'm gonna create a new one and you guys I'm just gonna delete it afterwards so it's fine. Then we're gonna go to PyCharm and then we're gonna do export open AI API key like so and now we're good to go. So now we can run our application. All we're gonna do is click type in Python 3, run.py, task. And now this is where your creativity comes in because now you have to give a description of your idea of what you want it to make. So I'll say a Tkinter application. A Tkinter is just a Python library that's native um, that allows us to build a graphical interface, user interface. I'm gonna say a Tkinter application that allows me to write my goals for the day and check them off, complete them, and add editing features, priority to reorder, and maybe even a favorite option, favorite a star. Make it fully functional. And then we're just gonna do a dash dash name, and now you do a quotation mark and name the application. So I'll say to do app, and then click enter. And now it will start the coding. So if you put your API key, if you get any errors, it's probably because you didn't configure your API key correctly. So please ensure you do that, and I can see it started. Um, it says programming language Python, mod modality to Kinter. It says the task. Bum, bum, bum. As you can see, it's working and now it's generating. So where it's actually putting this code is you're gonna click on warehouse, and then you're gonna go to the name of the app that you named it. So we named it to do app. So if we see here, are some files. Um, this is the chain that allows it to do what it's doing. This is the actual goal manager for the Tikinter app. And this is the actual Tikinter application. And you can see it's working on it in real time. And then there's phase config. Bum, bum. This is just the formatting of the chat dialog between the different agents. And then role config is the roles, the prompts that force the roles to act in certain ways like the CEO what is the CEO you are chief executive officer now we are both working at chat dev blah blah, blah. so this is actually the actual role of each user what's done okay so it tells you at the bottom here everything that you want to know so this is the cost of this application which is seven cents so this app that we just made is seven cents and it will tells you the duration that it has seconds so almost two minutes minute and a half okay so now we want to do is go on the remember it was under warehouse and then our name, um, then we're gonna copy path, absolute path. So it's under the warehouse directory, and then it's under the name that we made it. So we're gonna do CD, quotation mark, copy the path, and then close the quotation mark, enter. Now we're in this file. So now what we're gonna do is Python 3, main.py. So eight, and now you see it's done. Now we want to favorite it, it adds some weird effect. In the sense, we didn't even know how to code, but look, we built this application very simply. So now if we go back to our file, you will hear, and it tells you what you need to do. So you make sure you're in an environment, then you're gonna install the requirements, which is Tkinter, which is native to Python, so it's fine. And then you just run it with Python main.py, which we did. And then it has the main functions, the usage instructions. So this is everything. So if we want to see how it works, cd. Dot dot, and then we're gonna go to md, and now we can just click on, we can just copy this command and paste it. It looks like I might have something running on this port, so I'll just change that, and you can do that by doing the command and the right port and the new port in front of it. And now we can do chat replay, and we can do file upload, and then we just find the application. So to find the application, what you want to do is where the chat the file is, click on it, then warehouse, and find your app, to do app, and then click on this log file, and click open. Now if we click replay, it's going to go over everything that it took to make this application, how they talk to each other, etc. So you can see here in the left side, there's a uh, talking, so it's all the CEO talking right now. And then you see the chief technology officer talking, and then back 
and so on. So you see the whole dialogue, how it works and everything. So this is quite useful. You can build upon this as well if you'd like, but this is a good entry into the field of AI agents. I suggest you guys doing this implementation, doing the setup, following the video guide and playing with it and seeing what you can create because this is just a, the early start of the crazy industry of AI agents.